your fights against Bebekin. Tell me the intent, the purpose of the weight you chose. Nothing. Some fights are different. Some fights you, you train differently. Some fights you a little bit. But you know, you know, I'm fighting a bigger guy, a much more heavier guy than me. So I wanted to be a little bit, you know. But they, I, I fought at 115 before, so fine. Tyson came out almost a stone lighter than we expected. Actually, one of the smallest weight differences between you. What kind of difference do you think that might make? I don't know. Tyson does whatever he does. I do whatever I do. I don't, I don't know. There seems to be a lot of respect between the two of you, dancing up there, shaking hands. How do you interpret the energy between the two of you this week? We are ready to go to war. Just me. We are ready to go to war. Don't let all this fool you. We are ready to go to war. And given the smaller weight difference between you, how do you think that can affect the type of fight that we see in the ring? Let's wait and see. You know, I, I, I don't know. I'm not worried about what he's doing. I'm worried about what i got to do. You know, we train hard. I'm ready. I feel fit. So let's go. And are you enjoying the atmosphere here, the energy? Yeah, Can yeah, you feel yeah, the vibe? Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's very good. It's good. Absolutely. Yeah. You're ready to go now, aren't you? You'd fight yeah. tonight, right? I'm, I'm good, man. Thank you. I'm good. Excellent. Well, best of luck. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, Dillian. Thank you, Joe. So that's one side of the story coming off the scales. We're going to try and grab a word with the champion again now. With Steve Bunce. Tyson, fantastic, respectful weigh-in. Yes. The weight, is that exactly what you wanted? Yes, of course. I'm back. back. And Dillian's weight, was that about what you expected? Maybe slightly heavier? Yeah, it's too fit. What was he, 252 free? Yeah, yeah. It's a good weight for him. He's nice and stocking strong. I'm in great shape. What was that, 263? I don't even know what that is in stones. I've yeah. never seen you, I've never seen you so calm, I've seen you more fired up, yeah. but I've never seen you so calm before a fight, so relaxed and so determined, there's almost a different look to your face. For sure, you know, there's a place for it all, Deontay Wilder's team and him, they were hostile towards us, Dillian White's team and his people, they're all respectful to us, a little bit of stuff going on, they want to build a fight, and the fight's here and we built it, now we've got to go down to work and have a good fight. I mean, are you... In your head, are you at peace like you've never been before? Most definitely, Steve. I wanted to say, I said in this camp, I wanted it to be a great camp where I enjoyed every minute of it and take it all in with it being my last one. And where better to do it here at Wembley Stadium against Dillian White, one of my old training partners who's made it big time. You're I'm, happy, I'm happy for him. I'm, listen, we both made billions out of this. <laughs> we can't believe it. When we were in Belgium, we're going to be millionaires tomorrow. Come on, Steve. Listen, Tyson, I'm going to let you go. It's been brilliant talking to you. Enjoy your next 24 hours. What do you do in the next 24 hours? 27 hours, what do you do? Eat burgers and drink beer, baby. <laughs> Thanks very much, Tyson. Thank you very much indeed.